Hello everyone, this is just a quick update video on the solar trailer for the Xiaomi Mijia M365 scooter. So this is the Xiaomi Mijia M365. We added a seat. And to that we connected the solar trailer, which is a WeHu trailer. We added a kickstand. This comes down. And we added a, uh, a mud guard because it didn't come with one. We don't have this on here right now. Um, we have a generator that we're going to put here. Uh, it's the uh, propane, the Ryobi propane generator that will bolt on here. And we converted that to a GEET engine, so we'll be making a video of that soon. But for right now, we just have the solar cells. These are the Elfland SP22 cells. And this is aluminum. The cell, these cells weigh about five pounds each. So together, this is like 10 pounds. They make 160 watts. And right now the sun's setting, so we don't have any power. But this is going to count our power here. It's a watts up meter. And here, underneath, you can see how we put this together. These are for like studio lighting. And we'll put a link to these. And it's for um, like in, in the studios. You loosen this. This is basically just this, this clamp. When you loosen it, and then here, this is just a heater, a, heat, a water hose for a car, and that's what it, cl it clamps onto. So when I loosen that, and I loosen this one, you can see here we added this. This was welded on here. This is welded up, and then it bends over, and then this part comes out, and that's where this clamp goes. So I loosen this. See, and then it bolts up in here. The, the solar panels are held on with a bungee cord. So when that's loose, you can see that we can angle these. toward the sun. So that's how that works. We'll do some testing in the daytime. I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of updating that we got this together and I can give you a little bit of an update on uh, the GEET engine. Let's take a look at that. Okay, there's the gate. I'm streaming. This is the gate update. This whole platform will bolt on to the to the uh, the trailer down here. This part. We put an electric starter on it. I'm still tightening all the. Uh, this piping together. This is mainly the, the GEET system right here, the GEET fuel system. is um, It's where the exhaust and fuel come together. Uh, not to contact each other, but it's like, basically the way this works is the fuel, so the carburetor used to be connected, I'm calling it a carburetor, but it's an air fuel mixer. It used to be connected here. Took it off, put it here. The, the, the um, propane vapors will go through the water, it's going to mix with water in here, so it'll be water plus the propane, and then go over here, in here, up the center pipe, 
through this, cooled off a little bit in here, and then I can add air if I want to here. And then it goes into the engine. And then the exhaust goes through a separate pipe that's welded here and here, and it just goes out around the fuel pipe and then out here. And then there's a metal rod that goes in the middle, which is this. Sorry, the lighting's not better. This is a, we're just going to start with a two inch, a two inch rod. And we've run it for about 20 minutes. I haven't checked the magnetic signature on this yet. And I'm still not totally sure how to do, how to make this work right, but the way I see it, worst case scenario, it's going to run as a generator the way it was originally made. And if we can get it running on different fuels, uh, mixing with water, uh, and fuel mixed, that's great. So it's kind of like a water fuel technology. We put a three a big sight glass here so we can see inside. Anyway, so this whole thing's gonna bolt onto the trailer. And a spring, there's a spring welded in here. Well, it's not welded, it's like there's, um, there's some, it's like there's something that's, that holds the spring in place and the spring stops right about here so the rod can sit here and about right there. This is the geet, if you look up geet. And then this is supposed to move by itself, just kind of float up here somewhere between, between these two spots and spin. So if you look up geet engine, you'll see that. Anyway, that's an update on this. I just have this whole thing resting on this so I can move it around. That way I could take it outside. This is disconnected right now, the propane regulator. That's gonna go here. I know this video is supposed to be about the trailer, but that goes on the trailer, and that's going to let us power the, the scooter at nighttime. So in the daytime, we'll have the solar panels char keeping the scooter charged up, because the scooter only takes about 100 watts to maintain speed, um, to maintain low speed. And then, uh... Hi, Charmer. That's our cat. To maintain low speed, and then to go faster than that, It'll take more, but we're not trying to go real fast with this. The scooter goes 15 miles an hour, and that's pretty quick for what we're doing. Anyway, this is the trailer. So this was welded here on. This was added. Um, the, the kickstand, we'll put a link to that. They sell them on Amazon. It's called a U-R-S-U-S. made in Italy. We'll put a link to that so it just comes down and then I'm gonna go ahead and set that. There we go. Now it's up. So that's the kickstand for that. The panels can be swiveled toward the sunlight and there it is. All right, everyone, just wanted to give you an update video, and um, we'll, we'll make more detailed videos of the trailer and the Geet engine. Uh, like I was saying, the Geet engine is going to go right in here, and uh, that's just a Ryobi propane generator that's been converted to a Geet, uh, which is really just changing the fuel system on it to let us burn uh, different kind of fuels with it. Um, anyway. That's gonna bolt on here. We put a hole here, here, and here, and that's where that whole engine area will go. The engine weighs about 25 pounds, which is the same weight as the scooter. The scooter weighs 25 pounds. So, anyway, thanks for watching the video, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And to follow our projects, subscribe to our channel to see more to come. All right, everyone, have a great day.